hello everybody. Welcome to Era BB week seven. We've got Jedi Bear with his Chaos Dwarves, Easy Way Out, versus King Boo with his Skaven. Uh, which I forget what they're called. <laughs> and uh, interesting game. Haven't have yet to play both of these teams. So we've got Skaven with a Natty. Obviously always completely absolutely disgusting. Um, and Tackle Mighty, a Rackler. Not good, not good for me specifically. <laughs> um, Abjup, Wrestle Stripper, Big Hand Two Heads, a dirty player. So yeah, pretty annoying Skaven team for me. And then obviously Chofs are also pretty annoying for me because they've got eight tackle. <laughs> tackle on both the bulls, built more towards the anti-adge than the anti-bash. Which, you know, not <laughs> not great for me. Maybe not great for him, because there's, there's more bash teams than there are edge teams. Um, but there you go. Got eight tackles. Pretty annoying. And uh, instant Kaz. He's got two dirty players as well. Only four guard. I forgot five, okay. So, and pretty nice ball carrier. So it, it's like very much, not only is it Chorfs, it's a very much anti elf Chorf team, right? Two DPs, eight tackle, strength four carrier. It's it's a very, very anti elf Chorf team. And anti Skaven Chorf team, really. And I guess you just dodge in and try and strip him. Like, it's not that terrible because he hasn't got. He hasn't got show hands and stuff, has he? But, um. That's the big thing. That's the big thing going for the rats now. Is that there is no sure hands on, on this guy yet. I haven't added the Artemis sound effect yet. No. No, I haven't. I need to add a where do you get your stick, don't I? That's what I that's what I need to add. That's what I need to add. I'll play it for you now. I'll play the clip. I'll play the clip for the Artemis sound effect. It's a pretty great clip. And there's a send off. Here we go. There's no need to record data at all, Jim. No. Anyone who thinks he's a normal dice is a fucking moron. It's <laughs> great, isn't it? <laughs> Only move three. The, the, the good thing about this team is... This killer is only moving three, so he's having a cheer fight and blitz. <laughs> Even this guy. <laughs> KO's him as well. So that's one thing, you know, Elliot exploited it. Movement seven wood elves. And, and catches and everything. So Elliot really stayed away from this, this horns claw mighty guy. And obviously I'm going to do my best to stay away from him as well. You know, maybe knock him over when you can so that he's... Uh, He's neutered for a turn or two. Oh, the rat's running away already. Interesting. Not gonna, not gonna go for the. I mean, this was a pretty good way in, right? I guess he's stand firm. But if you power, what the? What? Okay, right. I'm gonna go back a little bit. You've got to go for this, haven't you? Is the Skaven here? Do the Skaven have to go for this? Like you could one D him, like, and if you because this guy could come in for the assist. You don't need both rats in for the assist. I always call gutter runners rats. So you could you could bring in this Lino for the assist here, and then you could one D him. And if you pow, then you've just got a straight uphill wrestle strip on the ball, and then you've got one rat to pick it up and get it to the other rat. I reckon this was a definite 
a definite sacking opportunity. Anyway, the Brown Envelopes, that's the name of the team. I've got a babe and that's all. I wouldn't have heard going for that, because even with the few, you know, he's obviously taken three removals instantly. But um, I think going for the five plus there to open up the sack attempt was pretty decent. TBH. Like obviously, if he didn't have stand firm, it'd be way better because you just need the push, and then you'd <laughs> then you'd just get two plus a uh, two plus through. Like so, it'd be amazing if he didn't have stand firm. But even with stand firm, I think uh, yeah. Well, to 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 stop to stop the chuffs chasing the gutters, I guess <laughs> that is the, that is the plan. <laughs> I mean, it's really likely to uh, to uh, to to work, isn't it? Really, not the end of the day. Like it, I, I will often go for like a speculative five plus. Um, you know, if it's not costing you much, only fails in a one, massive payoff in a five plus. I think those those are the kind of shots that you've you've almost got to go with uh, some teams. Obviously, situations like this. See, like standing these guys up, it took up the four actions of these chaffs. Whereas if he didn't stand them up, then these chaffs are all piling in here. Oh, and there you go, the one that does get hit <laughs> gets badly hurt. Tschüss! <laughs> and no apple, so we already know how King Boo is playing this. Exactly the way that I plan to play my game, which definitely hasn't happened yet. Because uh, I only cast them in the correct order and definitely wouldn't have already played my game before this one goes on YouTube. So there you go. Fails <laughs> you for me. Yeah, well, I mean, I think I think that's I think that's quite reasonable to you know to stand up the the line rats as a roadblock and then you know you don't care really honestly if all three of those line rats die you don't really care that much do you all you care about is your is your gutters this is nice getting to chain this guy here and then he can hit can't he oh well i would have hit with the other one and chained him i'd have chained this guy forward then you could have uh and go for this blitz. Another 3D. I guess you don't even want SPP on this guy, do you? It's a good point, actually. You want you want to get. I don't want SPP on him either. I want SPP on this guy. I would have really wanted to chain this guy for the blitz. Oh, glorious foul. Oh, it goes in early. Interesting. I guess thinking that he's going to get one turned anyway. Just score early. He's already made four cars. <laughs> That's pretty wild, isn't it? That's some pretty wild play there from Chops. Yeah, it's it's honestly not a bad idea, is it? Because the. The Skaven are more likely to score early or like roll the double one. And so that's not a bad idea, actually not, not a bad idea at all. There's a strat versus rats with a natty. I'm just gonna try and quick quick score against these rats. Because I've got like I've got some edge and stuff, haven't I? I can just score quickly and that'll limit the power of his wizard. And if he rolls bad dice. I can get him maybe. Obviously I might roll bad dice as well, but still I think I think that's the way to to, to play these Skaven is to uh or just any Skaven in fact, you know, with a wizard is just to try and try and make it a shootout. With elves, obviously. Obviously orcs couldn't try to make it a shootout. But I don't hate this idea, like with making so many removals. And the fact that he's got the natty anyway, is he just gonna score with the natty? Nope. Scores a one. Set flat. And he's just gonna go for it. Uh yes, Chaw Stadium, yeah. 
Gotta zoom in because it's it's the weather door. I absolutely hate the oh no zoom out so you can zoom out or zoom in in the weather door. I hate the way it looks. He's just gonna go for it. It probably has to, right? Cause the bull. Oh my god. He doesn't have sure feet. So we went for three two pluses without a reroll. Flip me. And there's a dirty player ready to kick his face off. Whew. Without sure feet, I'm not sure the GFIs were good. I think with sure feet, you just do them anyway, right? But maybe, uh, maybe without sure feet and reroll gone. Maybe you try to like just hang back for a turn or something. Choke on something then, never mind. There was an Artemis texting for that, yeah, but unfortunately EAB is now dead. Oh my god, the bull just kazzes a guy. Flip me. Gets to pick up the ball and foul the nappy. Does he even get an extra system as well? This is a GFI. Oh man. The G5 of these is probably worth it, right? It's got five rerolls. Yeah. No. Oh, only stuns him. Diced. Is this the stripper? No. Rackle all the way back was only string three. Is he gonna Is he gonna contest this with the five players that he has? <laughs> I mean probably should, right? It's it's two versus two or three, I think it's worth even though the bulls can get there. I think we've got to uh I mean we should have blitzed that guy and I'm back a bit. I guess the bull's gonna come in anyway. Oh. Not great, is it? Oh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? I guess it frees up the other bull. But I'd have really like blitzing. Like three dicing. This gutter. I guess no, did you have to GFI the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I guess. So you can't GFI anyway, so you just have to move this guy up. Three, two, three, four, five, six. Off here. Roughing it. Oh, he's just lobbing it. Fuck me, he's just going for it. Okay, that's why I did the blitz there. Because there's not that many turns to score. So he goes for the pass play. So you, yes, if you're doing this pass play, then that's what you have to do, isn't it? Wow. Flip me. I would not have been that brave. I would have not have been that brave. Even though it's only like a 3 plus pass and stuff. It's rats in it. I, if I had done it, I would have rolled a 1, dropped the ball, and a rat would have 2, 3, 2 and scored. So, um, <laughs> instead... Yeah, exactly, Invictus, exactly. Dirty Bear has a duty to kill as many gutterns as possible, and really everything else is completely, completely secondary. He has to, he has to kill all of the gutters. Not, nothing else really matters. Natty is here. Can. Blitz him into another hit as well, right? So shouldn't do this hit first. Really shouldn't do that hit first because it was a <laughs> dub skull. But he could have brought this guy in and 3D'd the Natty. And then he could have 3D'd the Natty again, right? Which would have been a push. Oh, no, I guess not because he's got guard. But, uh... Three 
reading and that he was to play there if you ask me. Like and just for him as well, like not not for future opponents. Like the Natty is ridiculous. Like the Natty is bonkers. It wins him the game. Or draws him the game. You know. High percentage of the time. I know he's about to go two nil up. But still. This this two nil probably seals it, doesn't it? Actually, this probably almost seals the win. In, in fact, I guess there's the natty and then two two, but then he's got all half to tee off on him after that. I guess you could try and you could try and duck it for a few turns. Oh, I'm fucking dying here. I don't know what I'm choking on here. Six dice, nothing. Amazing. You know, two no. Early score and then passing play. And it worked, didn't it? It worked really well, the early score. Well, it depends what he scores this night, actually, because he failed the other night. If he scores this night, it's 2 1, which is exactly the same as 1 0 if he failed the other one. But. I do like I do like that play. I think something to think about for myself in the future. Particularly hard, is it? There is tackle on every square. Would be easier in Blood Bowl 3 with three rerolls available. Yep. <laughs> really, really hard to uh, do that. Yeah, I guess he could have done. I guess he could have done. But then... I guess they could have got hurt. It was a blitz, wasn't it? So... It, they were too, yeah, they were too far away. I guess he could have tried to, like... Could have tried to do something, but... You know, probably just didn't care too much. <laughs> probably didn't care too much. He's 2-1 up, isn't he? And I guess he's backed himself to stop the score here. Three, like seven players. Either he gets scored on, and then he's got time to score back, or he stops the scoring in three-one. This is a pretty rough dacker, isn't it? Only a few good players. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow, Lord stun. Wow, he could maybe try and zip through. Use all these stuns to zip through. Or is he just going to go back? He's going to go back. Do a cheeky pass. I wonder if you foul here with a random. I mean, he got a reserve, so probably does just foul with this random hobble. So he's gonna have to give out the other one. Then. No. <coughs> oh, he's gonna foul this guy. Oh, yeah, that's way better. That's way better than fouling this lineman, of course. I knew that. Go 
back for another turn. Mm. I kind of like going back for another turn if you're going to go back the first turn. I think you really use the first turn to like go here and take advantage of the stones. Or you uh, go back another turn. I guess this is it's pretty decent, isn't it? You can do whatever you want when you're moving 13. <laughs> Flipping rats. But it's uh, it's just a 3 plus, isn't it? 3 plus for a 2D. I think you've got to make the three plus for the two D with tackle. I guess that would have been the good thing about fouling this lineman would have been actually having players back to cover against this breakthrough, but I did quite like fouling this guy. It was a bit of an overcommit, I guess. You know, two GFIs. Getting a bit out of position. Gets the three plus dodge. Reroll. Ah, Christ. Did you score? If you made it three turns, which isn't that terrible, is it, with like not many players? Really hard, obviously, to stall down so many men versus bulls. They're pretty amazing. Pretty amazing once people have less than 11. <laughs> Bulls, a bit like Wolves, I think. Bulls just start to take over when there's less players on the pitch, because you just, you know, how do you defend against them? Movement 9 and Agility 4, essentially. So. The defensive Daka. Final turn going to Jedi Bear. There won't be a one turn chance if he scores on turn 16. He's just got to play a very, very safe. Keep the ball safe. And, uh, don't fuck it up. And of course, try to kill the knight. I mean, that's how you fuck it up, just doing this rando one day here. <laughs> Obviously a bit of a brain fart, thought it was a 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two nil. thought it was a 2-D. Could have made this a 3-D, right? I mean, it could have been a misclick, but more likely just a miss misread because you know you've got dwarves and you expect everybody to have guard and then you make your block and you're like what the hell how was that a one day <laughs> huge foul a dirty player as well I think he's going to go for this oh he's going to blitz first oh my god can he hit the natty oh <laughs> oh no <laughs> well, he could have hit that, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. He did his duty. He did his duty for the league there. He did his duty for the league. He tried to. He tried to smack the natty. He can have tackle. He can have guard on the cage corners. Not that he needs it because he's strength four anyways. So he can just have like tackle in a tackle cage, so it's not easy to dodge in. He can hit it with break tackle. I, don't, I think he's mad to do a three plus to hit it though. I could make the the painted uh, purple chest H cage, couldn't he? Not blitzing with the bull. I think I would have probably blitzed with the bull to get him up. Like, you know, giving up the mighty blow hit there. That's nice.
There we go, instant send off. Should have saved it for the natty. <laughs> Does he go for the ball here? No, he, the edge five. The edge five strip has gone. Without strip, obviously hitting this guy is shit. But like with the strip, it would have been pretty sick, right? Four plus dodge in and then uh uphill with wrestle and strip with good good odds, but uh uphill with just wrestle is pretty shit. Yeah, wrestle strip would have worked. But just try to uphill without it is uh very unlikely to do anything. Whoa. He's in the danger zone. You can hit him with the uh you can hit him with a mighty blow. Hit the nutty with a mighty blow. Let's go. I guess this is safe, and they just make it safe, isn't it? But he could have like he could have uh, he could have chained the mighty blow to here and then punched this guy and then the mighty blow could have, could have, could have run in and hit the uh, hit the natty. But I guess this is a lot more sensible, boring but sensible. This guy could have just moved in first, right? This guy could have just been here first in case that was like quad skulls. In fact, not even dub skulls then wouldn't have had to re-roll it. It could have just made the cage corner first. And while this is obviously what he wanted to do, he didn't have to. I think he could have just done done it a little bit more conservatively. Like I think once you're up this many players in this strong position, I think you know playing it super super safe is the is the best way of doing it. After saying that I would GFI with this guy to, to hit the natty. <laughs> I think he was right not to, really. I think you I mean it was right to not hit the natty. He just it would have been better for everybody else if he'd hit the natty. <laughs> I think it was right for him to just play super safe and And yeah, just get it done. You got three twos a pretty wild score for Chaos Dwarves, isn't it? Don't expect them to score three touchdowns. But, uh, yeah, really nice strat going for the early score. I mean, you know, it was facilitated by all of the cars, obviously, but still, it was a good, it was a good shout versus a natty. Why, why start out till a half and give them a one turn that works or doesn't? Whereas if you score early, it gives them a chance to mess up their score or gives you a chance to score again and stuff. Not terrible. Something I will try to keep in mind when I'm using a bash team versus scale. Try to get the SPP on him. Up the full. Two natty touchdowns <laughs> and three beating the crap out of them dry. But then and one failed natty, wasn't it? If that natty hadn't failed, who knows what would have happened? But um, eighteen heavy breaks to one. <laughs> so yep, there you go. Commiserations to King Boo. Congratulations to Jeddy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.